Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you two free apps on your um, jailbroken device which can be downloaded off site. Uh, they will allow you to stream free movies to your iDevice. So um, the first app I'm going to show you is called iMovies. You're allowed to stream basically any old movie, any new or popular movie. So right here is the base, basic interface of the app. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select a movie for you and I'm going to play a little bit of that movie so that you guys get a basic idea of how good of quality the movies give you. So this movie is Napoleon Dynamite. Most of you should have heard about it. Um, it came out in 2004 and on here they give you like all the basic info about the movie and down at the bottom they give you the button to stream the movie. So I'm going to click the streaming button and it will buffer the movie. Usually the movies take around 40 to 60 seconds to buffer, but depending on your Wi-Fi signal, that may be more or less. If you're on a 3G network, then I wouldn't suggest that you stream movies because the movies, um, they're in HD and they take out, they would take a big chunk out of your data package. And from my experience, most companies now limit your data. So if you're only getting like two gigabytes of data, then half of that, or maybe even the whole thing, will be used up by the movie you're watching. Okay, the movie has now started, and what I really want you guys to pay attention to is the quality of the movie. I wanna make sure you guys think that this isn't like recorded in the movie theater or anything. This is actually in full HD format, so that explains why it takes like 40 to 60 seconds to buffer or more. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna buffer it to another part in the movie. Once the movie starts, it's actually really good at um, going to another part in the movie without having to wait like over a minute. So we're going to go ahead and wait here. And here we go. We're in to about like 20 minutes into the movie here. And the picture is really good right there. So that's all you guys really need to see of the video. So we're going to go back up and we're going to go to the back to the main interference again. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you the basic options under genre. You can go under here and you're actually allowed to um, pick the genre you want and you can search the movies in each genre. They have basically every genre available. But now I'm going to go back to the home menu here. Also available is a search menu here. You can search for a movie you're looking for if you can't find it. I'm going to search for Twilight. I don't really like Twilight, but it's a popular popular movie lately. So I'm going to search for that and click go. And I'm going to go down here and you see that they have two Twilight movies, one from 09, one from 10. So they're not updated quite till 2011, but movies usually don't get added to the database until they come out on DVD. So now I'm actually going to go back out and I'm going to show you the next app called iPlay app. iPlay app actually lets you stream movies or TV shows unlike iMovies. So I'm going to go ahead and go in there. This is basically the home page which gives you all the info on the app. They've been asking for donations lately otherwise they're going to start charging. So if you want to donate then you could do that. And in the categories here you can select a movie by the letter. The letter it starts with. And if you'll notice that each each category here, letter A, B, C, they all contain under 20 movies. So you can tell that the debate, database of movies isn't really filled up much. So we're going to go into TV shows here. There's only five TV series, so you can tell that's not updated much. And if you actually click on the TV series, you'll notice that the last updated um, TV show is like, I believe in 2006, so unless you want to watch five-year-old episodes, then that's not very useful. So now I'm going to go back into the category selection here, and I'm going to go back again, and here is all the basic categories here. And I'm going to go into latest, and you'll notice that they upload about one movie a month, which is not good, so why they are saying they're gonna make us pay for the movies I have no idea so this app really isn't updated so I would suggest that you download iMovie since it's actually a newer app 
and they upload over 20 videos a day. If you go up top, you can actually click genre and you can there's a request button in there. So if you want a movie on there that's currently out of theaters and on DVD, you can request that movie. They don't upload movies that are currently in theaters because it's hard to get their hands on like HD movies and they only really like to upload movies in HD. So now I am going to go ahead and back out here. Um, that was a basic review of iMovies and iPlay app. If, you, if I had to choose one, I'd pick iMovies because the database is like constantly being updated. But if you download both, then there's a better chance that you'll have the, the correct movie you're looking for. If you'd like to download these apps, then you're going to go to Cydia, Manage, and Sources. And you'll add the Big Boss repo. The Big Boss repo URL is in the description below. Once you install the Big Boss repo, you can click search and you can basically search for the app, iMovies and iPlay app.